Hi, today we're going to go over how you can set up your theme within Aspen Discovery. So I'm starting off at my homepage. Um, I'm logged in as a staff member with permissions to set up my theme. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Aspen administration menu, and I'm going to look for this section called theme and layout. Um, if you are managing multiple different catalogs, you might see multiple themes here. Um, even if you're a single library, you could have multiple themes. Um, in this example, we have a dark theme, and then we have just our regular training library location theme. Maybe you wanted to set up a separate theme for the holidays or summer reading or different times of year. That is completely up to you, um, but most libraries will probably just work within one theme. For this video today, I'm going to click into training library. And we'll start looking at a number of different options within the theme. Um, I definitely won't go over all of the options available to you. There are tons of different color options within your theme that are available, but I will be pointing out all of the major theme color choices that really affect the overall look and feel of your catalog. The first one I want to show you is that you do have the option to make your header and footer full width. Just by clicking on this and clicking save, this change will automatically be applied for you. So you can see right at the top, just by clicking that box, I've extended my header across the screen. And then also if I scroll down, I can also see that I have a, a exp expanded footer now as well. Other options right available at the top are all of my logo options. Upload a logo here. This is going to go automatically into your header. You also have an option for the favicon. So this is what shows in the browser. And then if you're using our Aspen Lita app, you can also upload a logo. Um, this would be a smaller square logo that you can update here. So in this case of this Aspen Discovery logo, for example, for the Aspen Lita logo, what I would probably do is just keep the box with the leaf and I would take out the text. And because it's a much smaller logo on the app, it, it does make it hard to read the text. If you just have a, you know, identifiable part of your logo that you'd want to use, same goes with the favicon, probably just want to cut out all the additional text. We also have some options for the cover image style. So the default or the, like the original um, option for your cover images is border picture frame. So this is going to look kind of more flat. And then you have the option for shadow floating. That's typically what we recommend libraries to use. And this is going to give that 3D off the page look of your cover images. Now we're going to get into the first section of colors. First, let's just talk about how you can change colors or adjust colors. You can do this in a couple different ways. You can click on the color and then you can go ahead and you can slide across to choose your different colors. You can put in if you have, for example, brand guidelines or certain colors that you must use. You can put in that hex color code here. And you might have noticed um, when you click into the color, we also have this drop. So using this dropper, um, you can go ahead and hover over a color to color match. So think about this, like you could have another window open onto your website, or maybe um, a popped up expanded version of your logo that you're trying to color match. And you could use this little dropper by just, you know, hovering over, selecting that color, and then it will automatically match that color for you. Another thing to point out when you're selecting colors is that we have a contrast ratio over here. So for example, let's look at body background color and body text color. So if I were to change my body background color to say, let's just make it black. Um, and then I wanted to change my body text color to maybe something like a black or a navy. What Aspen's going to do is it's going to say that this is not accessible enough. So we really want to prevent that, you know, brown on maroon, uh, cream on white, orange on red. This will help make your site accessible and also it'll help look really good. So what you're trying to achieve here is of a contrast ratio that gives you kind of like a yellowish score or green is going to be the most accessible colors. If I try to save this right now with the score of 1.01 .01 and red, Aspen would not save this. I would get an error and it would tell me that this is not, this is not accessible enough or it doesn't meet the contrast ratio. So I would want to keep adjusting my colors until I got a green or it will let you pass with a yellow, but that's just kind of giving you like a warning that, you know, you could make this more um, accessible. So I'll go ahead and make this back to accessible. So you can see I got a really high score now of 18.73. 
In this section, you'll find your page background color. Um, so if you wanted to actually change the colors like along the side, for example, and you also find your header background color. So with the header, you know, if you have a logo that's maybe white or transparent, or if you have a, a logo that does already have a color background in it, you might need to adjust your header background to make it look really nice with the logo on top. Um, in one of our more recent releases, we also added some additional options with headers. So now you can actually add an additional header image if you'd like. So maybe it's, you know, fall or autumn and you wanted to add some like leaves in the background of your logo. So you've already updated your logo um, at the top. So this would be something where you would upload it to sit behind that logo. And then you have a couple of their options with, you know, do you want to cover up that logo? Do you want to contain that logo? And then you can even make that background repeat. So if you already have a full header image, maybe you don't need it to repeat, but if it's a single leaf, for example, and you want it to multiply across the header, you also have some additional options there. Another um, section where you can upload a logo is in your footer image. So sometimes libraries maybe have a state seal or um, a different funding entity or somewhere that they're sponsored by, like the Friends of the Library, or you know a different grant funding that maybe they need to put somewhere on their catalog. You can upload a footer image here, and then you can include any footer image um, link that you might need as well. So if you wanted to go out to that website or out to that Friends page or um, wherever you want it to point to, you can put that in. So the next section of colors really is going to be the most impactful on your catalog. In this section, we have primary background color, secondary background color, and tertiary background color. In this example, I have this dark teal, this like lighter teal, and this lime green. So let's just kind of show you where that's up. So we have the search box, which is um, that darker teal. I have this this line here, that's that lime green. And then you can see my menus are that um, lighter teal. So you can really see how these are the main colors focused without my throughout my catalog. So again, primary, secondary, and tertiary are really going to make a huge impact on your catalog. Another thing that makes a huge impact on your catalog are your fonts. So you have two different um, font choices. You have a heading font and a body font. There are a number of different default options that you can choose from. I think there's about a dozen. So you could just choose, you know, a different font. There'll even be a preview of that font. Or if you have a custom font that you use, like again, if you have branding guidelines or a font that you're trying to match on your website, you can even upload a font here. This is also the area uh, within your theme where you'll add any additional CSS that you might have. So if you have somebody on your staff or if you're really great with um, CSS um, or if you've reached out to us and we've helped you, you know, hide something or, you know, add something that required CSS, this is where you will find that code. So all of it will go here for your main theme. I also just wanted to pause and, and take a second to promote our Aspen Discovery Help Center. So help.aspendiscovery.org. Um, all of this theme and layout information today is under admin, theme and layout. And in that section, we have some different CSS code already stored. So this is a library that we'd like to, you know, continue to add to. But if there's something that maybe you're looking to achieve with CSS, um, you might just want to check here first um, and just get an idea if, you know, that code is already available for you. So for example, adding a background logo to your page, um, you could just come in and you could copy that code and you would just put it in that additional CSX, CSX box in your library theme here. Okay, so in these um, closed collapse menus here, there's going to be some more um, options for colors. The one that I really wanted to focus on in this video are your browse category colors, because again, this is going to con this is going to really um, affect the overall look and feel of your library catalog. So in this section, this is where you're setting up the browse category box colors. So um, if I were to look here, it's these boxes here, um, this uh, background color around the browse categories, and you can even choose if you want the colors to change if you select or deselect the browse category boxes. So all of these colors are contained here. Also with that, 
we have some options um, to set the look of the browse category. So you can decide the case. So if you want an uppercase browse categories, um, just default or maintain the case. And you have a couple of options with the browse category image size. So um, you can choose if you want your covers to be a medium size or a large size. And then we also have two different layout options. So we have masonry and grid. We typically set up libraries. Um, we like medium and grid, but you can take a look at what these different options look like. When you are happy with the selections that you've made, you can save. And then once you select your library location that it applies to, um, then the changes will automatically be updated. Thanks for following along today on how you set up your Aspen theme. And please, again, check out our help.aspendiscovery.org for more information and documentation on how you can make um, customization and changes to your Aspen catalog.